Hey, what to do, y'all? What to do? What to do? I'm pretty sure a lot of us have been through a lot with our relatives. I was just uh, thinking about some things as I do my early morning drive to work. And I've had a few setbacks personally, but uh, hey, yours truly is okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But uh, my thing is, is that uh, there's no fake relatives. You know, we sometimes say how people are fake and uh, I've already addressed this in regards to not having fake friends. Now, the fake relatives is really interesting because uh, I, I, I did a live stream talking about this prior and basically the analogy that I used is eagles. And so the analogy basically is uh, you have eagles in the nest and you may have like three of them. You might have three eagles. And really, uh, the, the, the eagle parents usually can't raise three eagles at the same time. So what happens is, you know, you get this term, you get this term of in-house fighting. Well, amongst eagles, you get uh, a fighting in in the nest. So, fighting in the nest is just like in-house fighting. So, usually, what happens is that the smallest eagle of the nest gets pushed out of the nest and falls to his death because the larger eaglets push the smallest eaglet out of the nest. So they can always have the first dibs on food that the parents bring back to the nest. And the parents really, they don't think much of it. They think it's a small, uh, basically uh, for the eagles, for the eagle parents, it basically comes down to a smaller price to pay in regards to rearing up more than two eaglets. You know, three eaglets would be more than too much more than what they can afford at that time. So this uh, this thing about fake relatives and why I say there's no such thing because you really only can call someone a relative that you can relate to. We usually say relative due to the genetic side of things, but it really, that's where the similarity ends, as they would say. Because it's just like you and those eagles, those eaglets. Those eaglets, they have the same genetics or similar genetics or what you would call relative genetics, but they are competing in that nest for food. And so if that means making one eaglet jettison out of the nest, then that's what it's gonna take. So that at least the remaining two eagles will have a chance at surviving. And in your family or what you think is your family at that time, they're competing with you. They're jealous of you. There's things about you they don't like. They don't want you to have first dibs on the food or on the success, the blessings, the prosperity, or hmm, 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 should I say this? The inheritance. Yes, they don't want you to have the inheritance. Now that's a major portion of the in-house fighting that takes place, is it not? So keep that in mind when you next time look at the people that you call relatives. They're not trying to relate. They're not. They're trying to kick you out the house. Just like the other eaglets 
would try to kick you out the nest if you were what they would consider the smallest eaglet. But in this case, it's not that you're small amongst your so-called relatives. It's you're really the giant. You're really the giant. So they will try to victimize themselves like as if they're the Davids slewing you as the Goliath. But really, most of them are just narcissistic in their own nature and they're just jealous of whatever your potential is. Whatever your potential has proved to be. Yes. Now going forward, just keep in mind of what I just said about the nest. Fake relative. Well, to me that's an oxymoron. Relative is someone, in my perspective, uh, relative is someone that you can relate to. And it goes far beyond genetics. So there's no fake genetic about it. This person is real with me and they relate to me. Signing out.